I'm Caroline Hand, Head of Community Services for RHP. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about our fantastic mentoring programme. This uh, was initially started over five years ago at our Butts Farm estate by a one, um, Sue Honey. She had some challenging kids on the estate. Um, she didn't know quite what to do. They didn't necessarily have the right role models in place. So she did her research, she looked up and wanted to start her own mentoring programme. And from then it has grown from year and year. Um, there are many, many of our young people who have been through the programme. Just a, a number of how many mentors we've trained is over 20. Um, so you can just imagine how many children have been through the programme. Um, and with positive outcomes as well. You know, some of those children that went through, those, through the mentoring programme actually are now mentors. And they're actually the role models for the kids that are growing up on this estate today. I'm joined today by Jazz and Charmaine. They're going to tell you their experience of the mentoring programme and what it means to them. Hi, I'm Jazz. I work for RHP as a customer advisor for the Barnes area. On top of that, what I also do is I am a mentor. Um, I've been doing mentoring for about six or seven months now and I've had two mentees in that time. My first mentee was a little bit difficult a young boy um, and he came with boy problems but it was a learning experience. What I've learned mostly about from the mentoring scheme is, is about actively listening to the mentees, what their issues are and how you can help them make the right choices in life. My next mentee that I've had is a lovely young girl and we obviously seem to get along a bit better because I can take her shopping or go get her nails done with her and it's a nice relationship that we've got. I really would recommend anybody who's got a bit of extra time to be able to do the mentoring because you're providing such an invaluable service to young kids that actually need a bit of guidance from an adult. You're not there to be their parents, you're not there to be a teacher, but you are there to support them and give them you know, your knowledge about what you think is appropriate and what you think is right. As you know, or may not know, London's got this massive push on, you know, all the boroughs doing mentoring. Um, I'm so pleased that RHP has actually become champions for this. It's current, it's relevant to what we do now, and actually, as RHP are ones to always be ahead of the game, this is exactly what we want to be doing. Hello, my name's Charmaine. Um, I work in uh, the RENTS team as a Housing Benefit Administrator. I found out that they were running a mentoring course uh, where you can train up to be mentor and you know, uh, work with young children who are experiencing uh, difficulties in their everyday life. And to me that stood out, that you know, it, it appealed to me. It's something that I've always taken an interest in since I was younger, um, since being in the school and being one of those difficult children. When I found out that um, I'm in line to receive my own mentee, um, I was quite touched and quite excited. Um, just coming from my own experiences, being that difficult teenager who had nobody to talk to, um, who experienced a lot of difficult things um, at a very important time in my life. And I think having somebody there to talk to um, is always important when you're young. I had a, mentee, a mentor for about six months and it took me those six months to open up to, this, uh, to my mentor. Uh, Miss Pascal. Not only did we have a similar name, uh, we came from the same country, you know, we had a lot in common and at first I didn't realise uh, the importance of those things, you know, having someone to talk to and being able to relate to them um, I think is, is very important also. Having that adult in my life um, to talk to and open up to uh, on a weekly basis was very, very important, you know. Once I did all my exams, um, I realised that I needed to you know, settle down for her and I did it for her. Came up with 14 GCSEs, um, A to C. So I think for that I'm very, very you know, appreciative of what she's done for me and I really want to pass that on to somebody else. I want to be able to have that same impact that I had on my life for somebody else. My mentor left me with a phrase that, um, that's always stuck with me and I always use it in my work now is we all need to learn to work as a team because together everyone achieves more. So I've, I've used that and I've passed it on, you know, so I always aim to work with people rather than against them or on my own because you do achieve a lot more when you're working together. So I want to be able to work with a, me a mentee, you know, and get them to succeed in their life as I have done. 